Hi, my name is Ian Gallagher. I'm the Director of Collaboration Engineering for Cisco Canada. In this second of a three-part video series, we'll be discussing pervasive video. In our first video, we talked about immersive telepresence and how such life-size, high-definition, immersive systems can provide true business-transforming capabilities through approximating an in-person conversation. At Cisco, it's our goal to video-enable every communication that you have, whether it's with internal employees or with external customers or business partners. To that end, we are bringing standards-based interoperability to a wide range of devices. That, of course, includes an immersive telepresence, but also includes personal video conferencing systems, laptops, and even any standards-based third-party devices like tablets and cell phones. Cisco's pervasive video strategy includes the recent announcement that going forward, all collaboration endpoints will optionally include the ability to do video. We're video equipping all aspects of life, at home, at the office, and everywhere in between. Pervasively enabling video capabilities across all types of endpoints, from large room-based telepresence systems to personal video conferencing systems, the phone that you're seeing on your desktop in front of you in this example, or even laptops with nothing more than a web camera, can increase the frequency which with you have better interactions with your customers. This allows organizations, IT departments, to create better business relevance to the organizations that they support and allow those organizations themselves to create true competitive differentiation for themselves. Consider customer intimacy. How have your customers reached out to your organization in the past when they needed help or service from your company? They've walked into a bricks and mortar store location and had a face-to-face -face interaction with one of your employees. Over the recent trend to deploy web and contact center technologies while improving operational eff effectiveness for your company has tended to detract from that customer intimacy factor. I'd like to introduce you to a colleague of mine, Lawrence Del Vecchio, for him to explain some of the unique vertical solutions that are possible with pervasive video as well. Hey Lawrence, how are you today? I'm good and how are you? I'm well thanks. Lawrence, I wonder if you could introduce yourself to our viewers and then possibly explain some of our unique vertical solutions that pervasive video enables. Sure, no problem. I'm uh, Lawrence Del Vecchio. I'm the telepresence marketing manager for Cisco Canada. And I'm just going to talk about a few unique ways that uh, we're using video. In finance, we can use video as a real-time advisor scenario. This is where a customer would walk into a branch looking for a mortgage and there's no mortgage specialist available. The branch manager would call up a mortgage specialist on video and have them interact with each other and then walk away with a mortgage that very day without having them come back. In healthcare, Doctors are using video to save lives, while patients are using it to communicate with the world while bedridden with illness. I had the opportunity to speak with Dr. Michael Jong in Labrador to see how he's using video. For us here in Labrador, uh, access by video conference uh, from remote communities to uh, Goose Bay, which is uh, where a hospital is located, uh, is a lifeline at this moment. Um, it's also, besides being a lifeline, lifeline means because we actually can help resuscitate someone who have arrested, who, who otherwise have died, if, because we cannot fly in fast enough to do any res resuscitation. So we're able now to uh, lead the resuscitation remotely, uh, using all the staff that we have and who are trained there to do uh, CPR, uh, to do the advanced uh, life support, mm -hmm. uh, and but they still need uh, usually a physician to lead it. And uh, I reported that uh, on average for the for, over a period of three years, in our community of uh, our overall catchment population and all remote communities of 5,000, we save two lives per year. I mean, other scenarios would be patient with severe heart failure. It's hard sometimes to know, you know what is it that what what's wrong with this patient my phone it's a lot easy to see and see all the all the uh, all the cardiac monitor all the oxygen the blood pressure heart rate and what the rhythm is see how the patient's breathing uh, we can actually listening listen too because one thing i discovered actually is i can actually listen using this thing here yeah yeah uh speaker and yeah. put the chest you can actually hear the patient breathing and that's just one example of how pervasive video solutions can help enable healthcare services across a distance. Canada is a big country and we all have a long history of interacting with customers over large geographic barriers. Pervasive video solutions can help us minimize that distance to get closer to our customers and increase customer intimacy. 
In order to reach as many people as possible, however, we need to ensure that video solutions are deployed following standards-based interoperability and de deployed using protocols like SIP and H323. We also need to make sure we consider the underlying network architecture. At Cisco, the network is the platform for delivering all services, voice and video, and all forms of business applications. We need to ensure that video solutions are deployed with top quality, and at the same time, we need to make sure that video solutions don't impact existing business applications on your network.